Welcome to the Sage 50 US edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to install a single user version of Sage 50 or Sage 50C accounting. After completing this topic, you will be able to prepare your computer for a successful installation, download the Sage 50 installation package, install and activate a single user version of Sage 50 accounting, install service release and tax service updates, and convert your company data. Before you install Sage 50, it's recommended that you follow these brief steps to prepare your system for a successful installation. During this video, we will walk through installing Sage 50 on a system running Windows 10, which is supported by all currently supported versions of Sage 50 accounting. Before preparing a system for installation, you should make sure the system currently meets the minimum Windows and system requirements needed for Sage 50 to run properly. To view Sage 50 system requirements, access our knowledge base on the web at support.na.sage.com and search for System Requirements Sage 50 US Edition. Next, log into Windows as a computer administrator. Sage 50 and its helper programs, such as the Actian Zen database engine, must be allowed to run without restriction. Otherwise, the program will not function as designed. If you have a third-party firewall or security program installed, like Semantic or WebRoot, you should configure it to alert you when new network-aware files are installed and run for the first time. When you receive firewall alerts for these files during installation, always select to allow or unblock the file. More information about files that need to run through firewalls can be found by searching our knowledge base for Article 10903. You should also temporarily disable antivirus scans during installation. Some antivirus programs may incorrectly identify installed files as possible threats and quarantine them during the installation process. You should temporarily pause antivirus real-time scanning while installing Sage 50, and then enable it when the installation is complete. We provide a Sage 50 installation package that can be downloaded from our knowledge base. This one package can be used to install all editions of Sage 50, including Quantum, on a single user system, on a server, and on workstations. To download the package, on the computer on which you are installing Sage 50, open a web browser and go to support.na.sage.com. On the Sage support page, in the search field, enter Download Sage 50 US Edition Full Product. Select Sage 50 US Edition from the product dropdown, and then click the search button. In the search results, select the full product download link that corresponds to the version of Sage 50 you want to install. Now click the download button or link to download the installation package to your computer. In this demonstration, we'll save it to our downloads folder. Downloading the file may take a few minutes. The installation package is a single Windows executable. If your system does not allow downloading executables, please talk to your IT administrator to resolve the issue. When you are ready to install Sage 50, browse out to the folder where you save the downloaded installation package. In this demonstration, we placed it in the Windows Downloads folder, so let's open File Explorer and browse out to it. Double click on the executable file and a window will display asking you where you would like to place the uncompressed setup files that will be used to install the program. Note that the destination folder should not be where you want Sage 50 to be installed. You will be asked for the actual program files folder later. Click install to extract the setup files. Then click Yes when prompted to run the setup. If you are prompted to install Windows files needed for Sage 50 to run, such as Visual C++ and .NET, click Install. When finished, the Sage 50 setup wizard will display. Click Next on the Welcome screen, then Review and Accept the License Agreement. At this point, you may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected 
and can be configured by the setup wizard to let Sage 50 files run unrestricted. Leave this checked. If a third party firewall is detected, make sure it's running and alerts are turned on so that you can select to allow installed files to run unrestricted if prompted. Then click Next. The setup wizard will now check to see if a previous version of Sage 50 is currently installed. Now enter your Sage 50 serial number, if it is not entered automatically. This information is usually provided to you in an email. If you are upgrading from a previous version of Sage 50, an Upgrade Options screen will display. Leave Replace Sage 50 checked and click Install to upgrade your existing program using the previous program's installation location and configuration. If this isn't an upgrade, you'll be asked if you are installing Sage 50 only on this computer or if you plan to share the Sage 50 company data on a network. In this demonstration, we're installing a single user version of the program, so let's leave Yes selected and click Next. On the Install Options screen, leave the shortcut options checked and select the folder that you want the program to be installed to. Sage 50 program files must be installed on a local hard drive, preferably the C drive in the default program files x86 directory. They cannot be installed on a map network drive or external media such as a USB hard drive. You should install the company data files to a local drive folder as well, preferably into the default path. By default, the data path folder is named company. This folder will be used to store your company data folder as well as sample companies and Sage 50 files that are designed to be shared between companies, such as tax tables and report files. This folder is commonly referred to as Sage 50's data path. Once you set the install options, click install and the setup wizard will begin installing Sage 50. This portion of the installation may take a few minutes. A setup status window will display, providing a view of the installation progress. In addition to Sage 50 accounting, programs installed at this time include the Actian Zen Database Engine, formerly Pervasive PSQL, which is used to manage your company database. It will be during this portion of the installation that you may be prompted by your firewall to allow or unblock one or more of the files listed on this window. Always allow these and other files being installed to run unrestricted. When the installation is complete, you may be prompted to restart your computer to finalize the installation. Otherwise, a finish screen will display, allowing you to automatically start Sage 50 and view release notes. Let's leave Start Sage 50 checked and click Finish. As Sage 50 starts for the first time, additional firewall prompts may display. Select Allow on these prompts. Now that the installation is complete, you should go ahead and activate the program. To do this, select Help from the File menu, and then Sage 50 Activation, Licensing, and Subscription options. Click Activate Online Now, and then click OK on the Activation Complete prompt. You can verify that the program is activated by selecting Help, and then About Sage 50 Accounting. If your customer ID and installed tax service information is displayed, then the program is active. On this window, you can view other important information about your installation, including the addition of Sage 50 that you installed, current build version, and the release date of the installed tax service. Now that Sage 50 is installed, it's a good time to install program and tax service updates that may have been released since the setup package was made available. Note that when installing updates for a multi-user Sage 50 setup, follow these steps on the server first, then install the updates on each Sage 50 workstation. Select Services from the main menu bar, and then check for updates. Click Check Now, and the online update window will display listing any product updates that are currently available for Sage 50, 
including tax service updates. Click Read More to learn more about the update. Entitled means your subscription includes the feature the update or upgrade applies to. In this demonstration, a tax service update is available that includes any tax table and forms changes made since the downloadable installation package was published. We'll leave the update checked and click Download. After the update downloads, you'll be prompted that the update will load automatically the next time you exit Sage 50. Let's close the program and the update will start. The update or the tax service update wizard will guide you through installing the update. Note that if multiple updates are downloaded, they will run consecutively. When finished, you can verify the updates were successful by selecting Help and then About Sage 50 Accounting. Here, a program update will increase the build number, and a tax service update will modify the installed tax service date. If you are upgrading an existing installation, you may need to convert your company to the latest release format. A conversion should be performed on the computer hosting the company data before workstations can open the company in Sage 50. Let's walk through a conversion. On the Open Company window, select your company and click OK. The Data Conversion Wizard welcome page will display. Click Next. On the Confirm Company to Convert page, Verify that you have selected the correct company to convert and click Next. If you are upgrading Quantum and your current posting method is real-time, you will have the option to change the posting method to Smart Posting. Smart Posting increases the performance of Sage 50 in a multi-user environment. You can always make this change at a later time. Let's click Next. Now make a backup of your company in its current format. This step cannot be skipped. Select to include the company name in the file name and click Backup. When the backup is complete, click Next. A progress bar will display as the data is converted to the current release format. This step should not be canceled. If you cancel it, you'll need to restore the mandatory backup and walk through the conversion wizard from the beginning. Depending on the size of your data, the conversion process may take a while. It can be left unattended. When the data conversion is complete, click Finish, and the company will open in the upgraded release ready to use. This concludes our look at installing a single-user version of Sage 50 Accounting. We hope you found this Sage University learning topic helpful. Sage University offers extensive libraries of on-demand anytime learning filled with topics just like this one that help you get the most out of your SAGE investment. Comprehensive subscriptions cover most features and procedures found in your software. Specialized libraries focus on specific areas of interest, such as year-end procedures. Live deep dive workshops are available for select topics, led by a knowledgeable instructor in our virtual classrooms. You can attend our workshops from the comfort of your home or office. And best of all, Anytime Learning is accessible 24-7 to work with your busy schedule. Please visit Sage University today to find the training that's best for you. And by the way, if you are viewing this video on YouTube, you should know that we have many free videos, software tips, and more on our community site, Sage City. Here, you can engage with other Sage users to ask questions and share knowledge. Be sure to visit us and join the conversation.